Solana is about to make some real moves. Now, there is a Solana conference coming up, and for the next two weeks, Solana and its ecosystem is going to be on everyone's mind. Now, we covered just a few days ago the battle between Cardano and Solana, and the battle continues, and I think, especially in the next few weeks, Solana is going to pull way ahead. If you look right now, there are two different judges. They're declaring different winners at this point. And let me show you. Take a look at my screen here and check this out. CoinGecko has Solana ahead, showing the market cap at 68 billion versus Cardano at 66 billion. And our other judge is saying Cardano's ahead with the market cap at 68 billion point six and Solana just behind. So the judges haven't decided who's going to win this, but my guess is in the coming weeks, Solana's going to be ahead. And today we're going to cover Solana's price and just what I think might happen in these next few weeks, as well as we're going to touch on some Solana gems that have a chance to pump even more than what Solana's going to do. So it's about to get very exciting in crypto. Are you prepared for some lost sleep in the coming months? And if you think you're checking your portfolio a lot now, just wait. Welcome to the Crypto Rain channel. I'm your host, Jay Rain. And if you like money and are looking for a real investor's take on the crypto market, join the Rainmaker family by liking the video and subscribing with the all notification button on. Let's go ahead and welcome our producer, D Money. Hey, what up, Jay? How's it going today? Fantastic. Yeah, I'm stoked. I uh, well, I, we'll talk about a little bit of news. It was it was big on my part, but before we do that, let's get this party started. Here we go. Let's do it. So, quick disclaimer for all of you out there, this isn't financial advice. I am a crypto investor myself. D-Money is new to crypto. I had my first conversation with you about crypto forever ago because you'd been doing YouTube production. So, you're fairly new in crypto and you just had your first exciting big gain. Well, you've had some good gains already, but this one was big. Yeah, this was a big one. Yeah, I mean, it just uh, a little, I think something 12x for me. So, uh, so I was able to get my initial out, um, which was so hard to do, man. Like, I, I, like I had your voice like ringing in my ears. It's like, like take profits, take profits, take profits. And so I did the discipline thing. I got my initial out plus like, you know, an extra 2% or something like that. Um, and now I've got, you know, basically like another 90% in there that's just going to be a free ride, um, which is, you know, which is exactly what you teach, um, you know, and so I'm trusting you and, and, uh, and now I've got my initial to, to throw into something else. So, you know, hopefully we're going to cover something today that, uh, that, uh, maybe will perk my interest and I'll, I'll <laughs> get a, get a small bag of that as well. Congratulations on your big win. That's exciting. You also had a big win on Vivi. Now, we've been covering Vivi and Ecomi since, I think, January or February. And so you've been participating in Vivi and the drop yesterday. Yeah, the drop. Uh, so the first USPS, um, United States Postal Service, for, for people who uh, who aren't exactly familiar. Um, so, so Vivi, they had a partnership with them. And so it's the very first NFT stamp. Um, that dropped yesterday at, uh, I think at 12 Pacific. Um, and so, uh, anyway, I actually, you, you gave me the credit for having a big win. I actually, I actually missed, I, I didn't get the drop at all, but my <laughs> wife got one on the drop and then she got one on the rebound and she pulled freaking, she pulled two ultra rares out of, <laughs> out of the two drops that she got. So, uh, so yeah, that was huge. Uh, she actually flipped one of those for a little bit over 300, I think. So $6 in quick 50 X, no big deal. And then she's holding the other stamp. So no, that's a big win because, you know, I know many of some of you out there are married and what's funny is generally as men, we're more trip, uh, attracted to new technology. Now, sometimes women are, but percentage wise, it's about 95% men in crypto, 5% women. And so sometimes one of the challenges is explaining the value you see to your wife. And so it's good for ha her to have those wins. So she's like, Right. Probably no, got her sure. attention. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And she was, you know, she was like, oh, it sold. Like she was the <laughs> one who saw, you know, and like, it, she's like, it's not there. How do I tell if it sold for sure? You know, and I'm like, well, check your profile. And like, oh, now she's got 300 more gems or whatever. And she was like, whoa, which is, which is important because from what I understand, like this new partnership with Disney, 
Um, you know, I don't know how much those golden statues are going to be, but we want to have some like liquidity for sure to be able to to get into those um, as soon as those drop. So um, I, I, I've got to think. I mean, they made the announcement. What was that last week? So um, mm -hmm. it makes sense to me in the coming week or two that we're going to see the first Disney statue. And what's it going to be? Right? Is it like like in my mind? I'm like, is it going to be Steamboat Willie or Steamboat Mickey? Right? Like, oh yeah, you know what oh, I mean? Wow. Like for me, like if I'm Disney, like that's the first you know you want to memorialize the time. first cartoon, yeah. Um, and how huge would that be? Like first Mickey Mouse golden statue, Steamboat Mickey. Oh, that's that's my hope. That's my my sort of bet in my own head uh, that that's what they're going to do as the very first one. But it could be Star Wars. Uh, who knows? You know. So it's anyways, amazing I, that they've got all these licenses. And I remember when they really took off in February and March. And uh, there was another one, Terra Virtue Collect, which has done some good things. And I was like, Terra Virtue Collect or Vivi? I was like, I think Vivi's going to win this. So I bet all my chips on Vivi and their token at Gomi. And haven't even spent much time on Terra Virtue Collect, but Vivi has just dominated with the licenses, and this thing is all about the licenses. Yeah, you're not you're not always right. You're just right. Most yeah, of the time, just right? it's <laughs> only like ninety five percent, ninety two percent, depending on the month. So that's exciting. Now, you in the audience, if you're here in crypto right now, you're joining at a really good time. See, I've been waiting for this period for three and a half years. Overall, crypto follows a four-year cycle, and I came into crypto four years ago and went with one extra week, so late October. I didn't understand when I was new the four-year cycle is about till about six months in, and the, this part of the cycle is by far the most exciting. We see massive, huge pumps, and then we are going to see some crazy things that are coming in these next couple months. But I think in the coming two weeks, we're going to see some crazy things from Solana. I also want to talk with you about some of the Solana ecosystem projects that I think many of these will pump as Solana takes off. So let me share again my screen with you. And let's take a look at what I'm seeing here. So first of all, I, I shared with you how <laughs> Solana pulled ahead of Cardano. Um, let's look at the charts here. And this is exactly what the chart is saying. So, you know, we covered Solana back here, actually. And you could see where I identified that it was going to break out, and it did exactly that. So for those that have been following the channel for a while, we covered this entry here. And look how it's done from there. It's, it's not quite 10x from there, but it's pretty significant. It's about an 8x. And for a larger market cap, that's a big deal. So it broke out like this, and then we're seeing a triangular constriction pattern. And then likely, this is how I gauge that move. Basically, you take where it goes from this breakout to the top, and that tells you likely where the next breakout is going to go to. And so we're looking at probably a $330 Solana. And my guess is in the coming, mm, see, this one could go all the way till this. Uh, let me just place this correctly. And so 26 of November. Really, in the coming three weeks, we're going to see some big things out of Solana. Um, we've already seen some of this from the breakout, and we talked about Solana and this triangular constriction pattern is breaking up, but there's still some room to run, and this Solana conference is going to be a big deal. There's a lot of great things coming on Solana. Now, I want to show you overall Solana's price looks like, and the reason I pull up CoinGecko is just you can see better history. Specifically on this, we're looking at TradingView. And on trading view, this is pulling Solana versus USD on Binance. And Binance only started tracking it September 20th. But going to CoinGecko, we see a lot more history going back all the way till um, almost 2019. And no, just 2000. Uh, yeah, well, you're we looking go. at the one year view. Let's look at the max. There we go. We see a little bit more. So we go back also just to April 2020. But do you see this kind of pattern? This is actually what a parabolic move looks like. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if when we hit this, it then trades sideways some more to give us a little bit more time before it completes more of this parabolic run. And I was thinking about Solana and where do I think it's going to go by the end of this bull run? I don't know where by the end, but I, I could see Solana doing $600 easy, maybe even $1,000. And from where we're at now, it's at, what, 224 So 4X from here would take it to 1000 4X from here, market cap, 
that would put it at almost 300 billion and if solana keeps on track to where it's going it could go to a billion dollar market cap so that's about a 15x from here 14 15x from here so that would put our price man that would be almost a three thousand dollar solana We'll see. If you see a three thousand dollar Solana, what you should be thinking in my mi in your mind, because this is what I'll be thinking in my mind is, oh my gosh, I'm going to sell, because it'll be the hardest time to sell when you see the price go parabolic like that. And and this is something when I was new to crypto, I wasn't new to investing. I had been investing for twenty years, but when I came into crypto, I thought the same rules didn't apply. So in 2017, October, I got started and I turned about 15,000 into 165,000 over the coming months. And um, I just, everyone was saying it was going to keep going up. And guess what? It did not do. It did not keep going up. So I absolutely got wrecked. And my $165,000 turned into about $3,000. And we talk about wife support. See, I, I'm not here for wife changing games. I have an amazing woman in my life that I'm very happy with, and she's a fantastic life partner as well as wife. I call her my wife, my girlfriend, my lover, like all of that. And I hope I wish that for each of you. But wife support is interesting in crypto, and sometimes your wife gets it, and sometimes they don't. So she used to tease me during the whole crypto winter. And I'm like down to $3,000. And she had told me to sell when it was like $120,000. And so the whole crypto winter, she would ask every day, are we rich yet? Are we rich yet? <laughs> anyway, one day you're going to be able to answer that question to your spouse. And they're going to say, are you rich yet? Because this happened to me. Are we rich yet? And I'm, my answer was, uh, kind of. <laughs> and then it was, um, yes. And then she stopped asking. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason she does ask can we buy a house because we sold the amazing house we lived in we made a long distance move for some family we're renting a luxury apartment but no apartment feels like luxury and uh we're trying to buy a house during the off season so probably in the coming months we'll buy one so now she just asked me if we're buying a house yet and i'm like just wait i don't want to cash out a bunch of crypto yet soon all right solana okay ecosystem projects. I want to take a look at Serum. Now, Serum is a big deal. I personally have been using Radium, and I don't know Serum. I haven't used it. But what I like about Serum is the integration partners that they have. You probably noticed my video where I covered Star Atlas. It's about two months ago. In Star Atlas, this kind of AAA level game takes a long time to build. And so it's going to really be two or three or four years now they're smart and that they're creating some milestones and some mini games that you can play to help people be patient but they're integrating the serum decks right into it in fact there's some other big integrations so serum can have some serious potential now it already has realized some of that potential its market cap is already at a billion dollars and that's pretty big for a dex not not as high as uniswap but look for serum and and also radium which i do use all the time to cut into th where uniswap is and so serum right now is at a billion specifically i want to look at the charts and the reason i have it pulled up on here is you just have a lot more history and in trading they call this kind of pattern a cup and handle and you see this downward pattern here and that we can see in fact we'll see it better on the charts no we will not because it just doesn't show enough history but you've got this cup and handle on the downside. This is it breaking upwards again out of this downtrend. And so Serum is showing some patterns that it's about to have some big increases. And likely, my guess is, it goes way above where its previous high is. So right now it's trading at about $8.20. My guess is it, it runs up, has a little bit of resistance at the $12 mark, and then it breaks higher. So one to look at. Now, where can you get Serum? Here's what I do to figure out. I go and I click on the markets. And so the big one that you can trade on is Binance. And we'll put a link to Binance bef down below if you don't have a Binance account. Now, unfortunately, for those that are in the U.S., um, you won't be able to buy on the Binance.us link. But if you're outside the U.S. and could get access to Binance, it's one of the best exchanges. Now, you can actually get access to Binance with a VPN without doing KYC if you are in the U.S. They 
uh, will restrict you. You can pull out like three to five thousand dollar max withdrawal a day. It's a big downside of that. But if you're diligent at going in through a VPN, you can get a Binance account and just don't go through KYC. So they are on a lot of other things. They're on Kraken. I mean, look, they're on everything. Poloniex, Gate.io, FTX. FTX is a big one for all of the um, Solana ecosystems. All right, let's take a look at Radium's chart. Now, Radium, same thing. We don't have a lot of history here. So let's go to CoinGecko and let's take a look. Guess what else is here? A cup and handle with a breakout looking up. And this is why I had to cover this today. I had something else in my mind I was going to cover today. And as I was looking at the charts, the charts dictated covering this. And I knew the Solana Ecosystem um, Conference was coming up. But this is really what's dictating the coverage. So right now it's trading at twelve twenty six. It'll probably break up above the sixteen dollars. Its market cap is also at just under a billion. Now radium is the one I use for trading all the time. Um, I, I haven't tried serum yet. Probably I'll try it. But radium was the first one I started using, and you often just keep using what you're used to using. And so yeah, it's been a great dex. Their token. Um, you know, this is their total circulating supply, which is very small c compared to the max supply. This is usually a red flag for me, a concern or a concern. Now, if I were trading this personally, and I actually am trading the Solana ecosystem personally, I'm not saying that I would hold these like for long term. I would be trading these for the next two weeks and then selling out. And some of that I will be trading for the next two weeks and then I'll be pulling out some of my initial or all of it and just then keeping a free ride now shiba inu you probably know if you follow this channel that i don't cover the meme coins there's a reason i don't cover the meme coins for the same reason when i went to vegas i didn't pull the slot machine handles at all because i don't believe in gambling i especially don't believe in gambling when you have good options where you win more than you lose and so when you're in the right tech sectors during the right periods you're going to win more than you lose especially if you make s smarter choices you do some research on the teams and what the fundamentals behind the project is you're going to win more than you lose so i know shiba inu is actually the largest gainer this whole year and it's made some incredible numbers but the reason i bring up shiba inu is look where this market cap is, $35 billion. And I've been thinking, you know, where can this cycle go? Can some of these things, can Solana really hit a trillion dollar market cap? And I thought, well, let me ask you, what are the fundamentals behind Shiba? money got anything <laughs> i got yeah my silence was telling your silence was telling there's nothing behind it right yeah, there's, there's nothing behind there's it. hype behind it and you know and people chasing chasing a green candle right yeah like i have a friend that hasn't gotten in crypto at all and i saw his post <laughs> on social media and he's like oh my gosh and i just made like 10x on shiba you know i was like why do the new people always come in through the meme coins but it's just normal. We're human beings. It's not like it's a bad thing that we do. It's just a thing that we do. And so at least now they get awake to crypto. But as they get a little bit more experienced in crypto, they'll realize or they'll see beyond these meme coins. And if a meme coin could go to crazy market cap like $35 billion, where can something with substance like Solana and Cardano go to? Can they go to a trillion? My guess is yes. And so should they go to a trillion this cycle? No. I mean, that would take Cardano to a 32 or $33 price. And it would take Solana to like almost $3,000. And so should they? No. But will they? Possibly. All right. Another one of these coins. Now, these are ones that I have followed for a while. And this is Solbank. And Solbank, we were buying here. So if you followed the channel, I was covering when they were on these depths. And it is hardest to buy here when you're actually there. When you're looking at it, it's a lot of times it's easy to look back and say, oh my gosh, I wish I had bought there or there. The hard thing about buying down here is you don't know for sure that it's going to turn around. And so the hardest time to buy is here. And this is, we're, we'll be recording a video a little bit later with Paul. That's why Paul waits for the market confirmations that is breaking up and takes those rides. I like to buy down here because your gains are so crazy and you just have to be patient. And so we were talking about it here, but overall their price here isn't even bad. 
I mean, their total circulating s or their total supply of these tokens is 60 uh, million. And so that's not even what's in circulation. Probably 10 or 20% of their tokens are in circulation. That would give us a market cap if, say, 10% is in circulation. It's probably close to that number of about 6 million on this. Now, it was a lot better when it was down here because the market cap was about 2 million. But 6 million is still a low market cap. And Solbank is a ra radium, like radium type project. So they're at a billion here. Solbank is going to have its own wallet. So you'll be able to use it on Solana's, uh, like on Solana's DEXs and other things. However, with this wallet, you can choose to make some transactions private meaning you can send them to somebody and it won't be trackable who you send it to and people won't be able to see the receiving address. And that is a huge advantage over these two other wallets. Serums, well, that's a DEX and Radium is a DEX. And then um, I totally misspoke. I compared Soulbank, which is more of a wallet than a DEX. The wallet I have been using is Phantom, but I will be going to Soulbank's wallet. They're receiving or they're delivering their uh, version two soon. And so I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, this project, still low market cap, very interested in Soul Bank. You can get it on the Radium Dex right now. So this is where I've been buying it. If you're in our, disc or our Telegram channel, I told everyone when I just made a bunch of buys in the ecosystem just the other night and I shared what I was buying. Another one that I was buying is Soul Minter and then enter Sola. See, Sol Minter, look at these low prices. This is the time when it's hardest to buy. And what I like is, see how it's kind of flattened out here? Now, it could push down further from here. We don't know for sure. But it's in prices it hasn't hit before. In fact, you see that here where it kind of went flat. It pumped up. It came down lower. Now, Paul never buys in these scenarios because he's worried it's going to keep going down. Now, with what I know is going on with the Solana ecosystem during the next two weeks and during this bull market that's happening soon, I'm not so worried. My personal feelings. Another one that I loaded up on a bunch was Intersola, and Intersola is a Solana launchpad. And now on this one, you see this nice price support. Anytime it's gotten around this, it's hit this price support and bounced back up. Now, it's on the low end of the price support here. And for me, that's a buy sign. And I don't know for certain that it's not going to go to uncharted territory. You see back here, it went below 20 cents. Right now, it's at 22 cents. But I covered it when it was way back here at 8 cents. I know I loaded up on a ton of it. I actually took some profits up here. So all i am doing, been doing right now is rolling those profits back into it for super cheap. Now, I didn't sell my own bag. I only sold like 20% up here. Had I known it would re, uh, retrace so much, I would have sold it all just to be able to buy back here cheap. But this is exactly why we take profits on the way up because you never know if this is going to happen. And basically what happened here, the Solana ecosystem was on fire. And do you remember it, D-Money, when the Solana ecosystem tanked because Solana had to shut down for like eight hours? Right, yeah. I mean, and it was crazy. Like, And, and, and that just that little amount of... Of, of FUD, right? Like all of a sudden it was because I bought some right then I was telling you earlier that I, I bought it at like 130 bucks, right? And then I didn't keep it. I, I, I put it into something else and now I'm kicking myself. Right? <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's how fear works. When you're new to this, what, what happens is we're just human beings. You have to kind of laugh with yourself. And we do these things, especially when we're new, is like when negative news comes out like that we tend to panic sell instead of seeing that as a buying opportunity but i had already taken some profits it then tanked i'm rebuying with everything that i took as profits into these different solana ecosystem projects and just loading up on them do i know for certain it's going to turn around no the chart is strongly suggesting that there's a ton of support here and at some point it bounces up from that support and so we're buying so low i mean it was just at a dollar eighty and it's now at twenty two cents so i can't even do the math on that that's like an eighty five percent discount super happy for that all right now if you're appreciating this content could you give us a like and if this content sucks then be sure to hit the thumbs down and tell us why in the comments now Again, this isn't financial advice. I'm a crypto investor myself, and I'm sharing with you how I think about things. 
And it is how I think about things that led me to make the decisions that helped my personal portfolio go from thousands to millions in just the past four years. And I know it's doable for each of us. Now, each of us is here for different reasons, and I appreciate all of you who have commented in the comments in the past videos, including put in here if you haven't, why are you here in crypto? Is it for life-changing money? Is it for one of my best long-term friends that's here for wife-changing money? Because for him, he's actually not interested in most of the women where he's living, and so he is interested in women in a totally different country, and so he's probably he's going to take the money from this and move there at some point so that he can meet exactly who he's looking for. And some of you, it's just here for other things. In 2017, everyone talked about win Lambos. And so I hear that a little bit this cycle, but it's for other things. Like, what are you here for? Is it that really nice house? One of you in the comments put in that you're actually looking for some money to buy. I, I think, was it 50,000 euros? You can buy some land to build a farm on with your wife. That was interesting. I did not expect that one. In fact, I know one of you in our audience, a farmer, you're looking to retire from farming because I think you're 65 and looking for your exit, 50 to 65, I don't remember, but you're always in our Telegram chat and um, you're looking to retire from farming. Now, let me get a drink real quick. That's going to help. Because we're human, we do hear these stories about people making crypto millions. And can I be frank with you? As humans, we feel that this should happen to us within months. Like, D-Money, you're fairly new to crypto, and you see the stories of people making tons of money. And then part of us says, okay, this won't happen in months. But would you agree that part of us thinks that, like, it kind of should? Well, yeah. I mean, you, like... Like logically, when you think, when you actually think about it, you're like, no, that's, there's no way that's going to happen. But there's always that part of you. I mean, it's it's why people gamble, right? It's mm -hmm. you're like, it's it's the what if, right? Like like, oh man, what if what if I really do hit this big? I mean, because because you 100x one thing, you know, you, at, at 10 grand, it's a million dollars, right? You want to, or, or you 10x something, you 10x the next one, you 10x the next one, and all of a sudden. You know, you, you've turned. You're there and you see the possibilities of how it can be here. And it can. And sometimes we hear the stories about it or especially we look at something that we bought and then we sold. And we're, you're like, man, if I only rode this a little bit longer. Like my Axie Infinity, I cashed out my, my most my Axie Infinity at, you know, it's now at about 100x gain. Because I didn't sell off everything. So I put about $4,000 in. If I still had everything, it would be worth about $5 million. Really easy to look back, though, and say, oh, if I hadn't sold. But if you're a smart investor, you actually take profits on the way up. So sometimes that means you leave some money on the table. And sometimes it's like this intersolo one where I sold off like 20%. And then you're kicking yourself for not selling off more because hindsight is perfect. But when we're having to make the decisions at the time, we can't see exactly how they're going to turn out because none of us has a crystal ball. So we actually... It can be frustrating being in this space because it seems like everyone's making tons of money but us. And I was talking to some good friends about that frustration. It feels like, oh, they just missed this and they just missed this. And what's funny is we, we think about the things that we won and then we kind of dismiss them when, when we hear other people's stories. And so what I was realizing is a bunch of my friends in crypto are feeling frustrated all the time. And I wonder if you in the audience are feeling like that. You're feeling like you're always missing out on things. So I was processing on that over this last week, and I thought, can I tell you a realistic time frame that, that most people can do very well within? And I find a lot of times our happiness is determined by expectations, not the results. If we expect something and it doesn't happen, no matter what that is, we, we get really unhappy about it. But if we expect something realistic and it comes together, we're much more happy about it. So I, I was thinking this past couple of weeks about why so many people quit in crypto in 2018 and 2019 when it was a fantastic time to be around. And the reason is they hadn't set realistic expectations. Though they knew it took a while to get rich in crypto, when we got into the bear market and their portfolios had retraced because they hadn't taken out profits, their expectations weren't feeling met and they all left the crypto space but a few of us stuck around because we were we had realistic time frames and my realistic time frame was five years 
and I, especially as I discovered the four year cycle, I was like, well, shoot, I'm just going to stick around because a year after the Bitcoin halving is going to pump again. So if you set a realistic time frame of five years and we have so much run left this bull cycle, I mean, not a lot of time left. It will be anywhere from two to six months. But the last part of the cycle goes absolutely parabolic. So there's some big moves there. And if you're smart and make some good gains and harvest those gains and set the money onto the sidelines, you are then well positioned to buy in the crypto winter that has always followed the parabolic move. And then the following run after that is going to be epic. So if you'll commit to the following five years, I will too. But I do want to ask you for something. We created a Patreon account, and here's why I created this Patreon account. As I've been growing this channel, I've realized content creators get burned out. Now, I started this channel really in December, but got serious about it in January. And I have been bringing on some staff to help offload some of the production tasks to make the production more fun and simple on my end. And to make this channel more interesting and sure I don't get burnt out. See, I could retire right now with the crypto gains I made, but... I, I enjoy sharing the principles that made me successful. So how do I how do I do that? Well, I realized I had to bring on more staff. And if you are a longtime subscriber, you probably noticed four or five months back that I got burned out and you could hear it in my voice as well as probably noticed that I wasn't posting near as much. And I can say that achieving your financial goals is amazing, but paying out of pocket for the staff cost, that too gets a little bit burning, burns you out on top of it when you're selling crypto during a terrible time to be selling crypto in order to pay staff costs. Well, that kind of adds to it. So it, D Money helped me create a Patreon account so that we can, I can continue to provide more value to you. And there's a lot of additional things I want to do. I'm sure you can understand why I don't want to be selling my crypto to pay for a channel that I'm paying for and I'm doing for free out of my time. And so thank you. If you join the Patreon, there's a few different levels. They'll come with some extra perks and benefits. And there are some different levels that I'll be doing. I'll be doing a video specific to the Patreon introduction to share with you the different levels. And don't feel like you have to do this. By all means, joining us here supports us too. And the Rainmaker level that we have, which is the entry level, is just under $20 a month. And if that is all you have for your total investment funds to invest every month in crypto, by all means, I want you to invest that. For those that are in a position to, we appreciate the support. It would be amazing. Now, a little bit as I was processing on whether I do this or not, back when I was single, I used to throw big parties. And I even used to throw them for free because I liked bringing together really good people and I enjoyed it. And I loved the people I got to meet through that and I loved creating fun events, which is some of why I created this channel so I could meet more of you. Now, I had some people that helped me put that together that all worked for free and we did it for free. But we found because we did it for free, we ended up having to clean up for hours after. And we found that some of the people that came were just takers. Not only did they leave messes behind and they didn't have to pay for anything, but they were like a social drain on me and my friends that were there because they were negative and they just complained about everything. So after going through some of that for a while, I started charging for the parties and I started charging $20 and I heard some people complain. I was like, look, this is just what the deal is. And would you know, it completely eliminated the people who left trash everywhere. But on top of that, it eliminated the negative Nellies that were just complainers who would just come and complain the whole time. And so we created a Discord channel that's linked to the Patreon channel. And joining the Patreon will give you access to the Discord channel so that those who are joining us through Patreon will get a much more clean environment where everyone there gets it. Now, can I be frank with you? The road to success is paved a foot at a time, so stick with us for the full five years. It's going to be a wild ride, and this is going to be a great place to be. If you're ready to level up your crypto game, join us through at least subscribing to us and hitting that all notifications button so I can show you how I analyze projects in ways that turn my portfolio from thousands to millions. Some of the levels in Patreon, if you join there, I'll actually share with you my portfolio, what's in my portfolio, and I'll also be sharing with you exactly when I make trades. If you want that kind of information, too, that will be available to you. It's time for a Rainmaker Wrap to reinforce the principles that helped make us 
make better decisions, and help us towards the most successful informed od- and informed audience in all of crypto. Thank you so much. Came into the space chasing all of the games, chasing yeah. the pumps and all of the hype trains. But like in life, uh, shit, right before you could, it was supposed to buy when it was pouring like a rain, make a shirt. I buy when it's down, don't chase the boats that I miss, uh. Cause I always make the time in mind I sit the one out cause I'm patient like that And I'll wait for the right time I sell when it's high, I buy when it's low They call me rich, they call me smart I'm just a rainmaker running the show Calculated investments I don't leave with my heart The principles are simple, they're leaving a mark I buy when it's boring, just gotta be smart I sell when it's hype, like all the channels they pump it That's when I was selling, your parabolic they dump it They call me rich, they call me smart I'm a rainmaker, making my own start I'm with the future, learning the past Makes the time fly by, years going so fast The game plan is mine, I'll own it now When I reach the top, haters asking me how Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck uh, Time is never better, but time like the present This next five years is a gift and it's feeling like heaven I'm committed to learn Studying to know that nothing comes easy, but when knowledge the game show Sinking out this run can soon become a bear market. Learning and growing, and when it's slow, would be the target. They say it's come out, Bitcoin is dead. The massive decreases can get to your head. Sticking around, the time is better. I'm strong like that, I'll let the others be fretters. Two years time, the ball will bring back the games. That makes it worth the effort, cause here comes the rain. So let's go, rain makers, let's make it all happen. The goal with the hate, they the haters be crappy. I'm here for five years, let's do this together. The time is right, the time could be better They call me rich, they call me smart I'm a rainmaker, making my own start I'm with the future, learning the past Makes the time fly by, years going so fast This game plan is mine, I'll own it now When I reach the top, haters asking me how Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck uh, Haters be hating Time to slow down Addressing what to say when I'm wearing my crown They're chasing green candles like someone who was new I got a vision that was bigger helping me to push through I'm still human and sometimes it is rough And that's what makes me special, simply I stay tough Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck uh.